You don't know what they're going through or what they've been going through. So right now I want you to turn to your neighbor and begin to prophesy to them. I want you to turn to them and say, like the dew in the morning, may he rest upon your heart. to everyone today that we are the Mount Herman Baptist Church Ministry 221 Desmond Terrace in the city of Irvington but we're not the building but we are the church so we welcome you to this uh, worship experience here this Sunday morning uh, second Sunday in September we praise God for this day uh, Sunday the 13th we praise God for all of you uh, we just want to we just take time to praise God while we have time. If there's anyone in your household, gather them so that you can praise God with them. We want to praise God through the good and the bad.
share this with someone so they can get on board to get their praise on. Praise the Lord. Somebody lift your hands in this building. Somebody lift your hands in this building. We lift our hands to let go of this week. We lift our hands to let go of all the things that we've been carrying. We let go to let God pour out on this, this moment. We're in partnership. Wherever you're sitting, we're, we're in this together. We got a lot to praise God for. Another day, our family, our health, our strength. Praise Him even when we have to go through the valley. Praise is what we do. We thank God. As we uh, begin this day, we just want to uh, just give shout outs to all of you that's on this praise line, uh, this prayer time, this Facebook live, that we, uh, we are we are thankful for this day. Why? Because God ha has continued to kept, keep us and is keeping us this day we 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 praise God for He is good, and so uh, we, we we have some news to share with you. Mount Hermon is still being blessed and being a blessing. That uh, on, especially on, on uh, next week, that we'll uh, we'll be broadcasting uh, live from uh, the, the house two twenty one Nesbitt Terrace. Uh, the doors are still closed, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna worship there, broadcast there because we have a wonderful surprise. That uh, not only will I uh, be able to preach, but we're going to have the Stars of Harmony. We're going to have our Deacon Brascom and the crew come out to lead us in worship. Uh, and uh, we will, uh, you know, we call this a soft opening. We, you know, we still want people to be safe. If you've been sick, uh, we, we, we want you to stay where you are. But we want to we want to prepare ourselves for, for, for uh, God's opening of our hearts so that we may continue uh, to serve and worship God in spirit and truth. So, so next week at 221 Nesbitt Terrace, at the same time at 12 noon, we'll be preaching. But right after the preaching moment, we'll, we'll break off from, from my sermon live to a live concert. Uh, you know, Brother George and the crew, they'll, they'll, be, they'll, be, they'll be praising God uh, and the uh, stars will be singing. Uh, you know, they might even inspire a pastor to break out in the song. And so we, 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 we're going we're gonna to just let God use us. Uh, and the reason why we need to do this, because not all we're just rushing to get in the house, but God has blessed us so much, even during this pandemic, God has blessed us. People are, people is, have been going through, but the Mount Hermon family ha, ha, has risen above their circumstances. And we want to encourage you that you can rise above your circumstances. So, so today, uh, we would just want to share with you these moments that, that we have. Uh, tomorrow's not promised, but while we have breath in our bodies, we want to we want to praise God because God is good. So, so next next Sunday, the twentieth, right, right, right here on this Facebook Live, uh, we will be broadcasting live two twenty Nesbitt Terrace at Mount Hermon. The Stars of Harmony will be singing, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna get in the spirit of praise because we have some things that's coming down the pike. That, that as we go into this fall season, fall season also represents harvest time, where you where you get the the, the fruits from the trees, the, the fruits from the ground. That, that we prepare for, for, for thanks for giving. 
because God has given us so much. So, so we're, we're preparing the house. The house is being prepared. So we begin to start our thanks for giving campaign early the, that, that uh, people are hungry. And even more so in this, in this season of, of, of famine. But but God has blessed us and blessed blessed not just Mount Hermon, but all the connections thereof. That we we're gonna we're gonna come together and we're gonna uh, start bringing our, our gifts and our, our our things and our names for those who are in need uh, for for Thanksgiving this year. We're gonna start it early, so we, we're thankful for that. Uh, we're we're gonna be in a position that that we uh, will continue to bless the Chancellor Avenue School. Uh, there's a new principal. I haven't been introduced yet, but hopefully this week we'll, we'll find out who that is. And so that we can continue our ministry in the community of, of, of Irvington and the surrounding area that will be a be a light in the times of darkness. So so there's a lot going on. We want to praise God for for the new things that's happening in our lives. Amen. Amen. And so so we're 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 just thankful. We're just for thankful for for these moments that we have. Let us let us uh, look to the Lord in prayer. Uh, you know, prayer prayer changes things. It, tra it, it changes attitudes. It changes hearts. It's it's not just uh, you know praying so I can get what I want, but but God directs us in our prayer life that that we will we will begin to have our our spirit person, our spirit man, that the inner being connected to the living God. So so we we pray uh, not just for ourselves, but pray. Will God have a hold in our lives, Lord? Lord, Lord, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of prayer requests out there. There, there's, there's violence in the land. There, there's, there, there's, there's, a, there's destruction all around us. But, but despite the chaos around us, our prayer moments are are centering. Whatever you're going through, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, our, our prayer moments. Don't, don't forget about your prayer closet, because those, are the, these are the times where God. I don't know what to do or where to go, but Lord God, center me so that I will stay focused. That 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 God sometimes prayer prayer just keeps you focused on the task that you you have at hand. That uh, you, you, mothers need prayers, fathers need prayers, teachers need prayers, students need prayers. This this is a new season, and, and so but but we find ourselves needing needed needing direction. So we we go to the Word of God, but also we go through. Through, through our supplications and prayers, that 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 through our prayer life, that that we we find a connection that holds the reins of our heart and our spirit, and so so we we have a lot of prayer concerns in our community. That we were praying for our schools, we're praying for our, those that are still going through through sickness, but we also through our prayers go through praise. We thank God for healing. We thank God for recovery. We thank God for 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 providing. And so we we want to just thank God. So let us. Look to the Lord in that way. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you now. We thank you, God. We ask that through your Holy Spirit will touch us now. Touch us so that we may see clearly. That Touch us now that for those who are, are struggling to see uh, the vision in their lives, struggling to see uh, their direction because their eyes are filled with tears, filled with grief, filled with confusion. Lord God, we ask in the matchless name of Jesus that you would just dry, dry our eyes today. That that we, the those who have been crying in the midnight hour, that you would, you would dry our tears, but also, Lord God, you would hear our cries. Lord God, you would hear our supplications in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we look to you. Lord God, we look up to the hills where all our help comes from. And our help comes from the Lord. Lord God, we have to continue to look up and not look down, Lord God. We have to continue to look up, but not, not around us, Lord God, because there's so many distractions. God, we, we got to continue to look up, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I ask that, that, that the people of, people of faith right now, the people of Mount Hermon will look up, Lord God. Lord God, I, I, I pray right now for all those people that I work with in, in the detention center, all those people that I come in contact in my community, that, that all those, those, those who know me, Lord God, that will, they will continue to look up, Lord God. Lord God, that, that we can look up together to see, to see your glory, Lord God. We see your glory, Lord God, that, that looks beyond our pain and our disappointment, Lord God. We, 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 they need you, Lord God. My friends, my family, even my enemies, they need to see Jesus, Lord God, to see the Jesus in, in us, Lord God, so that they might have a new walk and a new, new talk, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, go 
Go to Georgia right now, Lord God. Again, touch the Ross family right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Again, speak to their hearts. Speak to Ivan, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for recovering. Lord God, speak to our hearts, to the to, to the to, to the Webb family in East Orange, right, Lord God, that, that Minister Webb who lost her daughter, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you would just touch her, Lord God, that there's so many people grieving right now, Lord God, that, that, that you would just, we just ask that you would just uh, soften the blow of their, of their pain, and Lord God, remind them that they're loved, Lord God, and they're not forgotten. So God, in these moments that you have, Lord God, we look to you for, for guidance and power. Lord God, we thank you, God, in advance. We thank you, God, right now. Lord God, we let go and let you in our lives. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We put it all in your hands. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Now, God, we uh, now through the through uh, through the words that, Lord God, we will will share with some words of encouragement. Uh, the words of encouragement will come from uh, uh, the book of Acts book of Acts and the book of Acts chapter 13 um, we'll, we'll be reading uh, Acts 13 46 then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said it is necessary that the word of God should first be spoken to you but seeing you put put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of the everlasting life lo we turn to the Gentiles. And for this we have have the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light to the Gentiles. That should it be uh, for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. And the word of the Lord was published throughout the region, but the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable woman, and the chief men of the city raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas, expelled them out of their coasts. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came into Iconium, and the disciples were filled with joy with the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, amen. So we want to talk about uh, today. Uh, you know, I, I don't. I don't want normal, but I want next. I don't want normal. I want next. We we find ourselves uh, in in Acts chapter thirteen, where 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 the disciples Paul and Bar Barnabas find themselves in Antioch, Antioch, uh, the capital city of Syria, Antioch, the seat seat of theology. Uh, Antioch, where, where great scholars of the Jewish temple are gathering. Antioch, where, where, where we, we begin to see great, great, out of, out of Antioch, we, we see great theologians. We, we find, in Antioch, we, we find the, the great gospel writers who are black, uh, black, black Africans that they, they come out of Antioch and, and write the, the doctrines that, that, that set, has set before us. And so there's history in Antioch. But the, but the also in, where it becomes history, there, there's a stiff neck, uh, 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 stiff neck way about them, and so today we we want to just say that that we want we don't want normal, we want next. We hear we hear we hear the the phrase all these packs past six months. When are things getting back to normal? Uh, when when are things going to get back to what we what we're used to? And so I I want to say uh, from a from a point. Uh, uh, of of a faith walk that that I don't want normal, I want next, um, because when I think about normal, normal is being comfort being being comfort uh, in, in a certain way. When when we say normal, in, in terms of what the world is talking about, the world the world doesn't want to uh, really necessarily see the Lord as or be want a new thing, but they're 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 so quick to doing. The life that they're comfortable with, and I, I want to share with you that those that walk with the Lord, that those that are walking in the spiritual, spiritual thing, in the spiritual context, that we we've come to our own Antioch in this day and time. Um, the temples, the temples of the day are not just the temples 
that we worship him, but there, there are some other temples in our lives. Today is Sunday, and, and, and so people are want, wanting a new normal. Uh, the, 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 other, the other night, uh, there was a football game, the beginning of the NFL season, and, and in a unified way, uh, the, 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 the two teams gathered together, lock arm, to, to do something new. Not just before the anthem, they want to talk about unity because uh, they, they didn't want uh, their, their life to be the same as, all, as, as always. And so the two teams gathered together and they unified. But in the background, there was booing uh, for this unity. And so the question is, is that they didn't want to, they didn't care about the unified front of the football players, but all they wanted to know is who was going to win. They, 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 the booing was that we want our lives. Don't put that in our face. Black lives, you know, matters to a point that other people's lives matter to a point. And, and they just want it normal. They wanted their own good old fashioned football game that, that, their, their temple was the Colosseum. Their temple was the, the football state. That we, we have other Antiochs that, that people are waiting, waiting to get to the shore, to their favorite watering hole. That their temples are their bars or the people, those, those hangout places that they're, they're comforted in. They feel at peace in. That don't, don't, the preacher, don't, don't bring up no bad news. Don't bring up anything towards me that's going to cause me discomfort or displeasure. And so, so we, we find ourselves in this text, we also find ourselves in our own present day Antioch. There are places, there are temples, there are principalities and high places that don't want to hear uh, what these disciples have to say. The disciples come uh, with the power of the Holy Ghost preaching and teaching the story of Jesus Christ that that here Paul and Barnabas they, they they've come they they don't they they come to disturb the normal of Antioch and I'm here to share with you that some people just want want normal in their lives but if you were to if I was to take a, a, a inventory of your life that that you know what is normal in your life is that what God wants for you? Right now, do do does God want you to just be content to, to the way things were before? But is God calling you to a higher purpose, to a high calling? That 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 we, we find God is always stirring some things up, and we find ourselves the Holy Ghost stirring some things up with Paul and Barnabas preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, talking about the covenant of Abraham, how God was stirring some things up even in the beginning that, that Abram was spoken to by God and God started a new covenant that, that through Abram and, and, and through this covenant that God was always there stirring things up. And I, I want to share with you today, not, not normal, but what, what's next in your life? What, what, what does God want for you? And what do you want for your life in the walk with God? There, there, there it is, because, because when we begin to move from a normal to next, there, there, there's got to be some separation. Uh, they, 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 they preach with power because the, minister, the, Lord, the, minister, the ministry the, of, of the Lord was upon them. Verse 2, as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work unto I have called them. That, that, that when, when we begin to listen to the Spirit of God in our life, when we begin to, to listen to how God is stirring some things up in, in our circles, in our houses, in our lives, that, 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 that God wants to separate us, not from the love of God, but God wants us to separate us from our old lives, that, 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 that the Spirit of God will fall upon us, that that in this pandemic, in this not just this pandemic, but just in this life, that God wants you to God, God is calling you to a new thing. That, that that here it is. That that God wants to speak to you. That that what 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 is normal, what is comfortable, is not necessarily beneficial. That that, that Paul writes in, in in his word that that writes in, in in Colossians that that all things are expedient, but not all things are beneficial. That that I can I can I can I can. I can do all these things, but 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 these things might not benefit me. Your old life might not benefit you, Lord God. 
benefit you today that that today that when you move from a normal you, your comfortable place that your comfortable place was not necessarily a healthy place that 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 God wants you to move from the things that you knew to a new thing that Jesus Jesus called his disciples again from from being fisher fishers of fish but fishers of men that that their old lives would change when they began to follow the voice of the Lord that 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 Paul and Barnabas they they left their old lives to, to preach the gospel to preach this word that was transformational not just in their lives but but in lives of the community lives that God is preaching God, God wants them to move from their the old way a, a, not not a new normal but 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 a new purpose people just want want to go back to the to 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 the things that they used to do we have an old song in the church we one of the first songs first songs that 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 we sing is that lord take me back take me back to the place where i first believed in you take me back where i first believed and we and but 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 now we only take me back but but we must remind but god wants to move us not from where we used to but but take to take us to to a new place in our life to 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 a new territory to 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 new vistas uh, uh, to a new platform that that we get comfortable being comfortable and and so so here Paul 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 and Barnabas that they, they 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 are they're doing a new thing that 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 they they, they 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 are doing a new thing through their preaching that they're they're stirring some things up why because the the the, the Holy Ghost has separated them. Separating from from their old ways, from their new from their old thoughts, uh, to 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 new vistas, to to a new place, and so we have to we have to move from our old normal to 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 something new, to 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 new places, new possibilities. Let this 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 this, this mind that is in Christ also be in you. That we've been preaching a lot about this new thing, this new new new, new mindset, but this new mindset can 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 only only be placed in, in the body that that's willing to do a new thing. And so so we we how do we how do I move from our old normal tendencies to move to next? That that here here we have to set our things on minds on things above. That 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 Paul Paul and Barnabas that that they, they fasted and prayed. And, and so that that's what we have to do today. We you know just not just fasting but but praying. Not just praying, fasting. What what is fasting? That that's to abstain, not just not just from food or drink, but 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 God wants us to fast from some other things. That that even the, this day, what what's what what's going to be next in our life? That that right now, that people are, are are gathering around their TV sets. That they're ready for the kickoff for like I said, the NFL season. That that people are rallying themselves. Because they 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 want to go to those places that are comfortable, but but I want to challenge you that some things we just have to let go. I, I know I know I, we enjoy some things, but but if God is going to do a new thing in us, that we we have to lay those things aside. That that even the Hebrew say, says that we must lay lay aside those, those weights of life that easily beset us. That those things that 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 are linked to our lives that that hold us down. Let that marinate, marinate a little bit. That what what are the things that's normal in your life that's really holding you back in your spiritual walk? What what things? What what practices that's holding you back in in your physical life? What's holding you back in your occupation? What's holding holding you back in your home and your relationships? What's holding you? What are the weights in this life that's holding you back? That that's that's not of God. That's why Jesus wants to abide in you and you abide in him. Because, because, because when you abide, the, the Lord will prune the things that need to be pruned in your life. What, 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 what manifestations of, of the world, the old world, the old you, that still keep, keep creeping up? What are the vines or the weeds of your life that need to be purged? And so, so today, those things will be purged. If, if I want next in my life... Then, like, like, like we, like we see in this text, that we, we need to, we need to fast and pray. We need to, we need to stay in a way that that's going to be narrow, 
so that we, we can be attuned, that we can hear the voice of God, that we can, we can feel the essence of, his, of the Lord's touch in our lives so that we can move on to the next thing. Here, they, they are preaching. They're preaching, preaching the gospel to the point where people are leaving the synagogue. When the Jews had gone out of synagogue, the Gentiles besought the words that might be preached to them for the next Sabbath. Here, and that's verse 40, 42 of this chapter 13, that they're preaching that the, the, Jew, the people of the temple, they, they, they want to keep things status quo. They, they, you know, they believe in, 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 the, in, this, in the, the law of the land. They, they believe in, in the Lord. They, they believe in Yahweh. They, 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 they believe that, that God is going to redeem not just them as a people, but as a, as a physical nation. They, they, they're, looking, they're looking within the temple to, 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 to keep their house in order. And, and only God will bless them. I'm telling you that if we want to move from normal to next, especially in the church of Jesus Christ, that 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 as we as we continue to celebrate the Lord in our own circles, that but God is expanding our territory. What is next for us? What is next for Mount Hermon? What is next for all the churches that that we move beyond our buildings? Because here in the text that that even the, the, the Jews didn't respond like they thought they should, like the disciples thought they were going to respond. But the Gentiles are beginning to respond. And who are the Gentiles? All the people that weren't considered Jewish. All the people that were outside the temple. All the people that were not up there in worship early Sunday, Sunday morning or the Sabbath. Uh, you know, who are the Gentiles? Who are the Gentiles in our present day Antioch? Well, the Gentiles or, or, or all the people that are outside our circles, the people that we kind of look down on. Who who are the Gentiles? All, all some of our, our our coworkers that we never shared a word with. Who are the Gentiles? The people that we say don't belong to our church that we want them to come in. Who are the Gentiles? Everybody, uh, everybody that's that 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 don't look like us, that don't sound like us, that their customs are strange. Who are the Gentiles? Everyone. That that, that 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 are not part of the temple. And I, I want to share with you that the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the, the modern day church, got to move from the old normal to next one. When we begin to live out the gospel, go ye therefore and preach and teach to the all nations, to all languages, to all peoples, to, that, that we, we stand on the promise and the power of God and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit, that, that we, we must tell them, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand, that we, 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 we share who are the Gentiles. The Gentiles are, are my cousins. Gentiles are my enemies. The Gentiles are the people that I come in contact every day. And that, that now is the time that we need to share, go to the next level of our life and our community and our homes. Who are the Gentiles? They're the people that we live and eat with, that we drink with, that we sleep with. Who are the Gentiles? All the people that have not accepted the power and the unction of Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit. Who are the Gentiles? They're your neighbors. They're, they're the people who God wants you to reach, not to hide in your temple. I believe God is using us for a purpose, that we, are need, to, we need to feed the masses the living bread. The living bread, they're not just they're not just the bread for the body, the, the bread for the soul, the bread for the mind, the, this word, this new thing, this new anointing. Yeah, I don't want normal, I don't want the old church. I need I need a, a new anointing, a new expression of God in my life. I want to show the world that, that I've got I, we gotta put those old things down, but but the new thing has come. Is anybody with me wants a new day in their life? New new expectations. And here, that's the struggle. Because, because normal is comfortable. Normal is what we do. I praise Sunday morning from 9 to 11 or whatever, whatever or, or 11 to 1 is comfortable. It's comfortable. It's comfortable because I can do it in the con. I put God in the box. It's normal. I put God in the box because I praise him from this time. And when church is over, 
I go back to watching my game. I go back to doing what I do. I go back to my fishing hole. I go back to hanging out with my friends. I, I don't have to tell them I've been to church. But 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 the church is in you that God wants you to go to the next level in your walk, in your talk, in your life. Let, let the, God wants the, the shine in your life in such a way that that the people be be drawn to you, and that's what's happening in this text. That that the Jews, all right, we, we, temple is over, worship is over. But after they started preaching, the Gentiles, the people. People who they counted out began to be drawn to, to the word. I want to share with you that, that God is using you as a magnetic force to draw the people around you. That, 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 that draw, draw, the, draw some folk around you. That, that, that God wants to use you. That you are the magnetic force. That God wants you to, to, to be the next level in somebody else's life. Somebody needs a friend just like you that knows Jesus. Somebody needs a friend just like you that knows how to speak to the Lord. Someone needs a friend just like you that knows how to lift up a prayer in a time of trouble. Someone needs a friend just like you when the storms of life are raging. Be like Jesus and say, peace be still and bring peace into someone else's life. This, that's, we need to... God wants a wants a new normal in our lives. We 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 need to learn how to swim upstream against the current like salmon do. Sam, salmon every year for 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 them to produce more salmon, they 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 go back to their spawning grounds and they swim against the current. They swim against the current. They don't eat it. They swim against the current so they can get to the spot so that they might produce more salmon. I, I want to share with you today, uh, we, we, we got to swim against the current, swim against the current of, of, of Antioch, that while everybody's complaining, we got to start praising God. Swim against the current. That that, that church can't, can't be just 9, 9 to 11 or 11 to 1 on Sunday morning. We got to swim against the current. And praise God, Monday, Monday evening, we got to swim against the current that, that when we get to our, our work, our, our places of employment, that we praise God before we get to get to our desk. And even when we get to our, we got to swim against the current that, that, that the people that try to use us and, 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 and try to tear us down, we got to pray for them. We got to swim against the current like Jesus swam against the current that, that we might have abundantly that he went up the current against God off the mountain called Golgotha, that he went against the current that, that he broke the silos and said, and, and they said, why are you break, breaking the silos? Why, why, why are you healing on the Sabbath? He broke against the current and began to do the things not like the people should, that, that they wanted to see. The new normal in our life, we got people of God, people of faith, we got to go against the current. The, our old normal don't work, but we got to go to the next level in our life, the next level in, in, in our work, the next level in our relationship. We got to go against the current. We got to call the people that we don't like. We got to tell them that Jesus loved them. We got to go against the current that we've been disappointed and disfranchised, but we got to go against the current. Why? Because God went against the current through sending his son, Jesus Christ, so that we might have life abundantly. And so, so if we, 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 who's got next? I, 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 I got, I got next. I want to get off. I want to get off the bench, Lord. I want to get off the bench. I, I've been a bench warmer. I, I, I want next in my life. I, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to get to the field of faith. I, I want to get on the the gridiron of life. I, 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 I want you. I want you to yell, go. I, 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 God wants someone that says yes, Lord, yes to your will and yes to your way. That, that I will trust, I will listen to you. And so, so here in this text in Acts 13, the Jews didn't listen, but the Gentiles did. I, I want to share with you so some of the best, some of your, some of the best believers, the best servants are, are, are people who, who live the life unbecomingly, that that they that that that, that been through something, that they've been through some pain and th through, through some turmoil, that, that God. God is ready for you to be the next level so so that so that the Gentiles, the people in life, will hear a word and say yes, will, yes to your will and to your way. 
the, the, the disciples, they, 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 they preached, they teached, and they were faithful. But, but in this text, uh, while, while, while the people of faith um, just pushed them to the side, that, that's good. But the Gentiles heard them. The Lord commanded them, saying, because, you know, the, this light is coming to the Gentiles. And, and, and it's for their salvation. It's for their wholeness. It's for their keeping. And, and, and we think, we think that, that this, this thing, our new normal, is just for us. People, people are, are saying, I can't wait to get to the house so I can praise God. I can't wait to get back and we can get back into our house of worship and do things that we, we used to do. Well, well, we don't have to wait till we get into the house. We can praise God. We can, we can dance like David wherever we are. We, we, we can lift up holy hands because someone on the outside needs to see our praise, needs to see the power of God in our life, needs to see us. And the word and the word of the Lord was published throughout the region. You mean meaning, meaning that that they went this this word that they shared didn't stay with them, but they everybody who heard shared it with someone else. They kept get they kept putting in the work. So today that whatever you're getting from the Lord today is not for you to just to hold for your own safekeeping, but you got to pass it on to someone else. You got to pass it on. You got to keep putting it in. You got to keep putting the work in. You do it again. Do it again. Put in that work. And again. And again. And again. You got to put in that work, servant. You got to put in that work, child of God. You got to put in that work. Don't give up. And so the disciples didn't give up. And so it says, but the Jews stirred up devout, honorable women and chief priests and raised persecution against them. In this work, not everybody's going to be with you. While the Gentiles are eager for the word, the temple folk, the church folk, are ex they're mad and, and, and displeased. And, and they stirred up the same people that's around them. And, and they, put, they put those brothers out of the temple. They, they put them out of the temple. They, they, no, that's enough of that. All these other folks are coming in. No, we don't need that. They put them out of the temple. I, I just want to share you. If you want to go to the next level in your life, sometimes you got to be put out. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the best things can happen for you to be put out. Sometimes, sometimes the best things can happen is that old friends that you thought were your friends will put you, as, as they say, will ghost you. That's a new phrase I pastors learned this week. You know, I didn't realize when you ghost someone. You just ignore them, that you become a ghost. You, you, you don't respond to their calls. You don't respond to their meeting. You, you just ghost them. And I, I want to share with you that if you want to go to the next level, that, that, that you need to be ghosted. First of all, you need to be ghosted by your friends. They, they don't bother you anymore. But also you need to be ghosted by the Lord. <laughs> that, that, that you need to be ghosted by the Holy Ghost. You need to be covered by the presence of God. You need to be ghosted so that you can cover and receive the power to go to the next level in your life. Is anyone out there ready to be ghosted by the Lord? Anyone ready to be ready, ready to say, you know what, those friends weren't good, those, those situations weren't good, that, 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 that wasn't good for me, but Lord, ghost me, cover me, keep me in your presence, and keep me in your peace. The, the, the disciples were put out. And so, so, so but, but by this, despite being put out, they were covered by the Holy Ghost. And, and, and you know what they did? The, the, the best part of this text, that once you realize, first of all, God is calling you to a new level. And, and, and God is separating you. Finally, finally, family, if we're going to go to the next level and, and God is going to ghost you with his holy presence, it says in the word there that after this, after they stirred up, the disciples, the, you know, Paul and Barnabas, they, they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came into Iconium. I, I want to share with you today that you need to shake off the dust of your past, shake off the dust of your pain, shake off the dust of your disappointment, 
shake off the dust of those dusty people trying to hang on and latch on to you. You got to shake off the dust to walk into the new light. You got to shake off the dust and go into that new city and that new place and those new blessings that God has for you. Leave, leave that normal, leave that comfortable life behind. I shake off of that, just shake off those things. Shake the, you know, we teach the kids at vacation Bible school. Shake, 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 shake the devil off. Well, I'm telling you today, shake, 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 shake the dust off of the past. Shake it off. Shake it off because if you shake it off, God can do something new that, that he can present you faultless and present you this new creature that present you with this new place, present you, take you up a new, uh, a new level higher in your family, in your peace, in a new level higher in your, in your, in your work, new level higher in your, in your, in the presence of the Lord, take you, take you higher in your daily journey, take you higher. They shake the dust off, shake the dust off, shake the dust off. And in early Sunday morning, Jesus rose from the dead, shook the dust off with the, with the power of, of keys of heaven and hell in his hands. And he's telling the disciples, I, I've risen. And because I rise, you can rise. And if, you rise, if, if I've risen and you're with me, you can rise. And you can shake off the dust and the doldrums and, and the, the, the mediocrity and the things of the past. But you can shine with a power and a purpose and a new thing that the Lord is doing in, in your life. And it shook the dust off. And, the, and, and one day shook off the dust and they went into that new place. The disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. Right now, right now, family of God, shake it off so that you can be filled with the joy. You know, not, not just love, but the joy. The exuberance, I shake with the joy that, that I once was lost, now I'm found. I shake the joy that, that, that the joy I have can't be compared to what the world could give me. Joy. I, I have joy now, right now. I now need peace, but I have an exuberance that, that I know despite what I've been through, I, I'm victorious. I have joy that, that I just got to lift my hands up while everybody might be trying to curse me and trying to put me out. I've got joy that, that, that I've got confidence and I've got the blessings of the Holy Ghost with me. Joy with the Holy Ghost. That's the next level. That's when, that's where we go from here. Joy and the Holy Ghost. Joy and and some power, joy, <laughs> despite my despite my, my 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 reign in my life, joy, despite my pain, joy, despite the storms, joy, joy through the rain, and so we 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 celebrate we that that we have we have victory today. We have these moments that we move beyond what we knew, that we we move beyond our Antioch. Move beyond those temples, but but we have the joy of the Lord that gives us strength. And so we, we want to share this with you today, that there's someone in here today that needs to find the power of God in their life. And, and, and here it is, here it is, here it is, that, that we have to let go of those things that, that, that easily beset us. But let us hold on to the same joy that these disciples had the same the same power that 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 gives them purpose the the same the same the same provisions that point them to 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 the to promote them to to the next level in their life and so we just want to share with you if you're looking for promotion if you're looking for the next level that that you need to be separated from the old things connected to to this new way of the lord and, 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 and through prayer and fasting, that, that you can find peace that, 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 that exceeds everything that this world can give you. So, so today, family of God, may, may, may today you find, you, find, you find your next level. Who's got next? Who's got next? Who's ready to get off the bench of mediocrity and, and shine? 
for the Lord. Who's ready to get off the bench and go go strong in for God? Who who's ready? Who's ready? If you're ready, just lift up your hands. Say it's me, O oh Lord. It's me, O oh Lord. I'm ready. Use me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Use me. Let us let us pray. Dear gracious God, we thank you for these words. We thank you, God, for this opportunity. But more so, God, we, we thank you, God, we can move from, a, from a, a life, a normal life, but the abundant life that you called us to be. That, 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 that right now we pray for every vessel that's on this Facebook Live, but, but not just them, but those that will come in earshot of this, this season, that they may find that they're ready to go to the next level in you. All they have to do is just not just accept you, but follow you and heed thy words. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. May God bless you. Remember, next week on the 20th, we'll be presenting presenting live uh, from Mount Hermon. The Stars of Hermony, Harmony is going to give, give a concert that uh, if this has been a blessing to you, share this with someone else. That Mount Hermon is still uh, still alive and well. We, you know, we God has commanded the blessing uh, for the, for those of the faith that you've been blessed and want to be a blessing to the ministry. We're preparing uh, for for our uh, thanks for giving campaign that we want to make sure every every there's no hungry souls in, in the valley. That that we as we continue to minister, we want to make sure every child has what they need so they they can fulfill their educational. Requirements. If you want to be a blessing financially to the ministry, you can see us on Giveify, uh, Mount Hermon Baptist Church, Irvington. You can you can send your offerings to the church, uh, two twenty one Nesbitt Terrace, uh, whatever whatever uh, whatever you can do that that we that we might fulfill the calling that we can take this ministry to the next level. Uh, next 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 week at twelve noon, we'll be here live with a sermon, and then follow that uh, a mini concert. For the stars of harmony, that we we pray that you all join us as we allow God to use us in a mighty mighty way. Remember, remember, if there's any prayer requests, drop it in our drop it in our message box that we may continue to uh, be prayerful. May God bless you and keep you. This is Mount Hermon, uh, we where God is doing a new thing in our life. May God bless you and keep you, and may His holy countenance be upon you this day. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. I see your request. We're praying, Sister Tony. God bless you. God bless you, Brother Jackson. God bless you. I see my family. God bless you, cuz.
God bless you. Be a blessing. Amen.